Hey guys and welcome back to the online learning space. Today what we're going to do is we're going to create a name tag using 123D design. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is start with a, a new document. Alright, we then want to go to the top view, so just left click on that and then hold the middle mouse button down and move the screen around so you know, you've got a nice uh, workspace. The first thing we need to do is to actually draw out the tag. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to sketch and we are going to sketch a rectangle. So click on the sketch rectangle. You then need to specify the first corner of the rectangle. So using the gridded lines, all right, pick a corner, okay, and start to draw out your rectangle. Now if you want to do this precisely, you can change the measurements just by typing on the keyboard. So the distance is going to be 65. Then to get over to the other dimension, you press tab. So we're going to have 65 by 25. And then what you need to do is just press enter and that will create the rectangle for you. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a curve on our name tags and we do this by using the fillet tool in this panel in the sketch panel so to create the fillet what you need to do is you need to go back into sketch grab the sketch fillet tool you then need to click on the first line and then you need to click on the second line where it's going to join up okay now see this arrow over here you can now create a different fillet just by dragging it up and down so we're not really going to touch that and we're going to change the fillet radius to six and then you can press enter to move on to the next bit and what we're going to do is we're just going to add the fillet for the rest and another radius of six so once we have our base name tag, all we need to do is we need to save. So I'm just going to save a copy and I'm going to call it name tag on my computer. If you have connected to the cloud, it can automatically get saved in the cloud if you have an Autodesk account, which is pretty cool. Anyways, the next thing what we need to do is we need to create the rim that goes around on the name tag. Now it's going to be the same size. So all we're going to do is create a duplicate. So once you've pressed Ctrl C to copy, you press Ctrl V to paste. And now see how it's gone bright blue? Well, well that basically means that the shape is directly on top of the other shape. So if you go to the center of this and see how it turns yellow, you want to drag this down and this will now move the shape. And what we want to do is we want to put it directly underneath so now we have both our sketches directly on top of each other and if you zoom in you can see that they're both on the gridded lines. What we have to do is we have to make a hole here and we're going to use, uh, we're going to do that using the sketch circle. All right? And so you're going to click on that to where we're going to edit the sketch. Now what's really cool with the snapping is I can now go along these grid lines and it will automatically snap. So what we want to do is we want to find about halfway and we want to click on the grid line to specify the center of the circle. Now when you draw your mouse out, you are then creating the actual circle. So we're going to put this with a diameter of four mils. Okay, and when you're ready, then you press enter. The next thing that we have to do is we're going to have to offset this shape and we're going to create an offset of the shape um, a couple of mils uh, below it so we can get a nice uh, rim for our design. So to offset the shape we need to go into our sketch panel and go to offset. We need to click on the sketch that we want to use and what we're going to do now is we're going to click on this line and we're going to draw our mouse down again and our sketch offset is going to be 1.5 
mils. Now you can see we have an offset of the outline over here and that will now create our rim. So that now that we have our shape offset, we then need to extrude these shapes so they become 3D objects. So we do that using construct and extrude. We're going to click on our sketch and we're going to extrude it to a depth of 1.5 mils. Now when I hold the right mouse button and I zoom around, I can see now that it has some height. We're also going to do the same for this section in here. Now you have to be careful because you only want to extrude the rim. So again, 1.5 mils. We'll test it to see that it works and yes, the extrusion works fine. Now what we have to do is we have to get the rim over to the base and we use we do this using the snap tool so this is the snap tool and what we have to do is we have to click on the rim okay and then we're gonna click on the face of the solid to snap and if you've done this correctly you can see that the rim and the base match up perfectly if you don't get this right this time around you have to really position the this shape a little bit better so that you can get a perfect match. So just please make sure you save your work. So to add text, all you have to do is press on the text tool. You need to click on the sketch that you want. You then need to specify the text position. You need to write your text. And you know, if you want to change the font size and things like that, uh, you can. If you want to make it bold, you can. If you want to change the height, of the text you can once you have it you can then move it around to where you need to put it and then the final step of what you have to do is you have to extrude the text so we're going to extrude it to the same measurements that we had before which was 1.5 and now we have our extruded text once we're ready for 3d printing what you have to do is you don't want to have this sketch down here anymore and you want to remove the sketches so you can go to this icon over here and you can click hide sketches now that's going to show us what we're going to actually print so to print this we need an stl file so we go to export as 3d click on stl and we will call it you know name tag now I've imported this uh, STL file into my MakerBot and it's ready to print. Finally to print, I just need to connect to my 3D printer and print. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, see you next time. So here we have the finished product. As you can see it still has the support on there, so we'll just have to take that off. And there you go, complete, complete name tag that you can use. Anyways guys. Thanks for watching.